So some of our favorite things from Star Wars. Not it doesn't necessarily have to be a specific scene or anything. It could be anything Star Wars. It could be the toys, anything in that universe, and not just from childhood, just your whole life. The things that stand out most. Do you remember in the Phantom Menace when they're on Tatooine and they're walking around town and Anakin showing Qui Gon around and they're buying some stuff and there's this old woman, this really old lady, and she starts rubbing herself. <laughs> oh. My bones are shaking, and she goes, "Storm's coming, Annie. <laughs> Storm's coming up, Annie. You better get home quick." That pops into my head all the time, and I looked it up on YouTube. I just the other day at work, I just wanted to watch that scene. I'm like, someone has to have it. They did, and in the comment section, everyone said exactly what I was thinking. Every time a thunderclap hits in the sky, that pops into my head. Booty Storm's clap. coming, a booty clap. If anything thunderous happens. <laughs> I would put it up there with iconic scenes like "I love you," "I know," and you know, <laughs> you know. I can't tell. I am a Jedi coming. Knight, like my father before me. Je kind of wedged in between those is "Storms Coming," Annie. What, what about Misa Saria? Is it on up there with that? And nothing Jar Jar Binks does will ever be up there. It doesn't deserve to. Misa took a yo pickle. How? I'll be honest with you, it, mine's not like a scene, mine's not a particular character, it's it's a vehicle. Like, dude, I love the Millennium Falcon. As a kid, Badass. as a kid, I, I used to, you know, we all had this big bucket of Legos. When any of the original series yeah. was on, I would be watching it and I'd love when the, when the Millennium Falcon would come on and I would try to build it with my Legos. Like, I, uh, it yeah. would be the worst, the worst Millennium Falcon you've ever seen. It'd just be like a block of Legos and shit you know just thrown on man? there. That's cool because we don't have Star People take that for granted. When we were kids, our Legos were fucking Robin Hood, Pirates, and Knights. Castles, yeah. I remember when I watched uh, um, Spaceballs as a kid, too. <laughs> you know, like they were jumping in the light speed and they go faster and they go to plaid. <laughs> I love that oh, scene. That's my I favorite. I forgot about that. So, I don't, like, I love Star Wars, don't get me wrong, but, like, some of the best Star Wars stuff is, like, parody Star Wars. God, but I like, love Spaceballs so I can't much. think of any franchise at all that has created more parodies than Star Wars. Not just regular parodies. Well, I was going to mention the porn parodies. There's, there's porn parodies of everything. <laughs> They've got Star Wars porn. You've got Spaceballs. But think about it today. There's... Parodies that like, actual Space Lucas balls. <laughs> Is that one of the porn adaptations? That's right. Or not. I don't know. I haven't seen that one. I don't know. But think about it, like Lucasfilm told Seth MacFarlane, "Oh shit, go ahead and make a Family Guy trilogy," and it's actually that was sanctioned. Yeah, I think that's it. They use like legit sound effects and everything. Wow. Yeah, like they use the music, sound effects. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think that's like officially like okayed by Lucasfilm, and that's. I wonder if they okayed uh, Weird Al's The Sagas Begins or something. I don't remember what they did. They probably don't have to or something like that. I mean, they didn't have See, to. Okay, for... I know you don't have to for parodies in general. That's kind of the copyright loophole. But I think because all the music and stuff Seth MacFarlane got to use, <laughs> he did have to get it like officially endorsed. Robot Chicken might have had to do that also. Whenever I hear anyone say loophole, I think of the poop hole loophole. Fuck me in the ass because I love Jesus. The good Lord would want it that way. The one, of, holy one of the greatest songs that Garfunkel yeah. and Oates has ever written. I have a moment, but I mean, it's it's a cliche one. It's, everyone's got this moment. When I was a kid, Return of the Jedi was my favorite. But I always remembered that Battle of Hoth scene. And then I didn't have an N64 like you did, but a friend of mine did. And going over to his house and playing... Fuck Shadows of the Empire. I tried to get through it and beat it. That game's too hard. I could just play that first level over and over. The Atari version of that fails. Another iconic thing that I absolutely love, Carrie Fisher, rest, rest her soul. Yep. The way she carried herself. I don't know why I did this. There's some pictures of her like on the beach in I her see, slave yeah. Leia outfit. Like an angel's kiss. I love Leia ah. just all the time, just in general. Mm -hmm. I love Leia. 
And it's really cool how strong she was in A New Hope. And I think that's why yeah. I like A New Hope so much. That's actually my favorite film. So yours is Empire. Yeah, now it's Empire. I've always loved A New Hope. Okay. Like most people will say, man, I can't stand A New Hope. It's one of the most boring Star Wars films it, of all time. <laughs> a New Hope was obviously made for character building, right? Yeah. But well, I it was really... made to be a one-off movie. If it failed, then it, it would just would have... Whatever. Yeah, it just... There's a movie called Star Wars. No sequels, that's it. Again, thank I, God it succeeded. I, I've said this in other videos, but like I, I really have a soft spot for like origins. Like yeah. Mario One, I'll always pick it over Mario Three, yeah, just yeah, because, yeah. just because you know it's it's where everything started. Yeah. It's where it's where modern video gaming came yeah. from. Now Mario's true origin, of course, is described in the theatrical masterpiece Super Mario Brothers the movie, but you know. What a fantastic film that is. Great you know, it's funny music. you should... I won't get into it. Another video. Perhaps later. Another video. Okay, so another fond memory I have, and it's weird because this isn't something I experienced, just a story I've heard a lot, was the way that my dad watched the movie for the first time. So him and my mom were out getting dinner or whatever. They just happened to be walking around town, walked by a theater, and they're like, Star Wars, what's... No, oh, let's go check it out. That's so cool. They go in, come out of the theater, and they're just like, Yippee! Yippee! Fucking Dalek my balls. <laughs>